All right. Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to make a quick video because next week is scheduling week. Um, and I know we're all kind of in different spots here, but just so you know, uh, you need three science credits to graduate. Most of you have already taken and passed integrated science, biology, and then this might be your third credit. So um, if you took environmental science all year, then you may be done. Um, or, and some of you might also want to take, um, you know, some science classes for to prepare you for if you're going into anything science related, medical field, or even mathy, uh, you might want to take another class. If you're a junior, you might be thinking about next year. Um, so if you guys will look at my screen here, here's environmental science. So that's obviously this course. If you only took one semester this year, keep in mind you could take it next year. So if you liked it and you would like to take, you know, get another uh, semester's half credit worth, you could take it next year. Just make sure that it's the opposite semester. So if you were just in semester two, um, next year you could take semester one. Uh, catastrophic earth science is uh, probably the easiest course that we offer here at the high school, but you could still take it as an elective credit next year, even as a senior. You could take catastrophic for either a year or again, just as a semester credit. Um, and then down here, if you look towards the bottom of my screen, are just the additional science classes that we offer. Um, if you're going into anything math, science, medical, or even honestly, any four-year degree, I, am, I always suggest taking physics. So we have like a general physics one that you could take next year. Um, Anatomy and physiology is a one-year course for anyone thinking anything medical. Even a two-year degree in the medical field from Sinclair, I would strongly encourage you to take anatomy and physiology. Um, intro to biotechnology is a new elective credit. It's just one semester. You can take it any time in your career. Um, and it's truly an intro to biotechnology. So biotech is um, like working in a laboratory setting. An example of it would be like stem cell therapy. Um, the course is designed to be like mostly hands-on, mostly working in a lab and working on your lab techniques. Um, just one semester. Material science is a great option if you want another science credit. Material science is the science of material. So they often do, there'll be like a unit on um, glass and then a unit on um, plastics. So uh, there's lots of labs. It's a very hands-on course. It's great. It's not super easy. So I'm, I'm pretty picky about who I sign off uh, on to take material science, but it's excellent. Uh, and then if you're thinking science in your future, you may be thinking about uh, biology two, which is a great course. I took it here my senior year and I absolutely loved it. Um, if you've already taken chem one, you may take Chem 2 next year, which is a great option. And also, if you've taken Physics 1, we have a Physics 2 that you could take next year. Uh, and then over here on the right side are our three IB science options. If you're in the IB diploma program, you already know this probably. You probably don't have really any questions. You've probably already planned your sciences. Um, however, there is an IB environmental systems class. It's an upper level. It's it's a challenging but really amazing course. Uh, my sister, Mrs. Newman, teaches it, and it's a really good class. It's hard. Um, you really look at the, a lot of the similar topics that we talk about in here, but in much, much more in depth. Uh, I usually have like one or two students every year that I sign off on IB environmental system. So if you took this class and you loved it and you want to learn more, um, then I would suggest IB Environmental Systems. So I think that's it. I think you virtual students, you'll be scheduling sometime actually with your counselor, like via Zoom. So just be on the lookout for that. If you have any questions about, sorry, someone was in my room, but they just left. If you have any questions about um, scheduling science, um, for yourself next year, please reach out and email me. I'm also happy to Zoom with you if that's the easiest way. All right. Thanks, guys.